Hello friends, Ashton here. So today's video is about a tiny tool here called Reservation System. So this is built with Google Form and uh, Google Calendar. Of course, we are using App Script here. So this tool is basically designed for, I think, for personal business, especially for a teacher or if you are a daughter, you have some client and they want your client to basically book in some event for you and uh, you, can, you can manage this uh, on your calendar here like this. So let me introduce you this tool. So on the right side we have this form here and on the left side we have the calendar and uh, in this calendar here I have a calendar called booking. So in this booking I'm going to manage all of the events for my client. So here I have booking A, B, C here for this week and on the right side, if you can see here, I have booking. I cannot see booking A here because for booking A, we only can accept five guests. So because we have five of them already taken. So as you can see here, we have some record here. Uh, so here, the first one is booked by this email address, and we have a second one booked by this email address. Of course, we can we need to handle this because these two addresses are, are the same. And uh, as you can see, we have five records here. So that means this uh, booking is not available. So that's why we cannot see it here. And what if I do something here? I'd like to add another booking here. Uh, booking, um, let's just call it booking. And I'd like to give it a uh, zero. So that means this is a this is a, a fresh or just a new event. Let's say we have we are we can accept ten person here in this event. So. Normally, you, should, you, all, you can do this. Okay, so we only accept one guest. So let's let's say we have ten, and I uh, save it. Now I have a new event here, and if I reload this form, I should be able to get it here. Maybe just need a while to have the data refreshed. Okay, as you can see here, we have this booking. Uh, so this is time. So eleven a.m. to 12 p.m., right? And uh, we can take uh, 10 person here, 10 guests here. So right now there is no, uh, no one is taking uh, this event. So if I go to the form and reload the form, so we can see it here. So if I try to book this one and uh, command name here, test email, and uh, phone number is fake. And I submit this form. I'm going to, okay. I'm going to have a reservation here for this booking, right? And if I check this uh, event, so you will see uh, we have this address here. So booked by this test address. Uh, so if you are using a real email address, and you should be able to see an event called this uh, in your calendar just like me okay so basically this is about this tool and uh, if this is still so so basically if this is closed uh, we have a gray color if this event is open okay so you will have a green color and uh, if it's never like this one this booking C if I go to the form for this booking C so this one is never uh, booked so this this is original color so this color is basically the color of the uh, of the calendar okay the default color so you will see something like this and uh, and we can decide how many days like for now I'm, I'm defining this for the next week so only the data in basically seven days can be showed here so the client can can book uh, meeting or something like that for you so you can manage like this all right i think that's about this project and uh this i, I don't think we need to have have uh, we need to send email or something like that but we can do that of course um, because uh if the customer or your client uh, booked an event with you uh, with this form and of course they can take a seat if they are using this uh email address if they enter their own email address, they should be able to see it uh, on their Google Calendar. And uh, if the email address is not a Gmail, or they are not using using Google's 
Google Suite, and then maybe they are using Outlook or something like that. Maybe we can send them. I think they should be able to see the invitation or something like that. So that's why I don't think it's really necessary to send uh, invitation by email. But of course, we can do that with App Script. Uh, that's not going to be a big deal, I think. So I'm basically I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this form here so you can try to book some event here. Uh, to test it. So let me check if I have anything else I need to check. So basically you can organize your uh, your event like this. right? So every time you do some change here, like if I drag this event, I'm not sure if I can drag. Okay, don't send. So I drag it here. So the time should be changed. And uh, if I refresh this form, I probably should have this updated as you can see. So th these items are they're sorted by the time. Okay. So the first one, uh, the booking A is not here anymore. So because it's it's a uh, it's full. Okay. And this should be the first one. So booking B. And then we have this booking, and uh, it's taken by one person here. And then we have booking C, and booking D and E. So as you can see, if you check the timestamp here, uh, eight. Days, nines, and uh, eleven, and uh, twelves. So things like that. So this is about this small uh, system here, built with uh, Google Form and Google Calendar. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you. Bye bye.